appetizer or a side dish and its name is stuffed pepper rings. I love using peppers. They add vibrant color and crunch to your recipes. Let's begin by making the pepper rings. I have these three colorful peppers. Let's cut it from the top and remove the seeds from inside. Now cut it into half inch thick rings. Similarly, I'm going to cut the red and yellow peppers also. Here are our colorful pepper rings. Now let's make the stuffing for the rings for which you will need some boiled potatoes. I have taken two potatoes, boiled and mashed, and the chopped onions, grated ginger, green chili, finely chopped peppers, crumbled paneer, fresh coriander leaves, seasoned with salt, red chili powder, coriander powder, amchur, garam masala, chaat masala, dried pudina. Rub it between your palms. It smells so good. Squeeze half a lime. Mix everything together. And our stuffing is ready. Take a spoonful of stuffing and put inside the pepper. Press it and fill the rings completely like this. I'm going to transfer it onto a plate and stir the rest of the rings in the same fashion. I have my grill pan heating. If you don't have this, then you can cook it on a normal tawa as well. Apply oil all over the pan and place the pepper rings. Press and cook on medium heat. Apply oil on top as well. Let's flip them with the help of a spoon. You can see they have got beautiful grill marks. Do they look gorgeous and tempting? I believe it tastes super delicious. Press and cook so that the other side is grilled as well. And our stuffed pepper rings are ready. Can you imagine how simple it is to make a restaurant style appetizer at home? So please give this a try and let me know your experience in the comment section. Conchi's balls is an easy to make party recipe which is loved by everyone, especially children. The combination of corn, cheese and potatoes just melts in our mouth. These crispy bite-sized balls are so delicious and are a sure hit in any party. So let's go ahead and make it. In a large bowl, let's add some white potatoes. Using a masher, I'm going to mash it nicely. Now let's add rest of our ingredients. Boiled sweet corn to give some color, finely chopped red bell pepper, capsicum, finely chopped coriander leaves, very little minced garlic, lots of grated cheese, cornstarch, salt to taste, black pepper powder, red chili flakes, mix of Italian seasoning, mix everything. doesn't work, I need to play with my hands. Mix until everything comes together. Let's make the slurry for which I have all purpose flour or banda, a pinch of salt and water. Mix everything well to make a pouring consistency batter. For the outer covering, you can use corn flakes or bread crumbs. I'll be using corn flakes. It turns out super crispy. I have some corn flakes. Using a rolling pin, I'm going to roll it to crush it to a fine texture.
Now I'm going to grease my hands with oil. Take a spoon of potato mixture, flatten it. To make it super cheesy, I'm going to add a small cube of cheese at the center of the ball. This is totally optional. Skip it if you don't like much cheese. Add cheese at the center and then see all the edges to make a round. Let's dip it in the batter and coat it completely. Remove the excess and put it over the corn flakes. Cover it and roll so that it's nicely coated. Keep it on a plate and repeat the same for rest of the balls. All our balls are ready. Now I'm going to pop them into the refrigerator for 15 to 20 minutes to set and then we will be frying the smoothies. I have some vegetable oil heated. Let's add our balls. Fry them at medium flame until they become golden brown and crunchy. It takes around 7 to 8 minutes for one batch. Don't they look beautiful? Let's drain excess oil and take out on a paper towel. All our cheese balls are fried and ready. I'll just break one and show you how cheesy it looks. Let's do a lovely painting for this gorgeous beauties. The melting and oozing cheese is so satisfying. If you want one, then rush into your kitchen and try making it. I'm sure you will love it. Firstly, let's preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Now let's proceed by cutting the bread slices into this using a cookie cutter or a lid. I have taken few bread slices. With the help of a lid, I'll cut the bread into rounds. So we have cut the bread into a circle. Similarly, I'm going to cut the rest of the breads. Our circles are ready. Using a smaller lid, I'm going to cut it into a small ring. So here we have a ring. Let's make few rings. So here we have our four circles and four rings. You can use the trim bread pieces in making bread pudding or bread crumbs. Let's make the butter spread. For the butter spread, we are going to take room temperature butter. Tomato ketchup. And grate some more mozzarella cheese. Mix all together. Our butter spread is ready. Let's make the cheesy vegetable stuffing. Into a bowl, let's add finely chopped onions, finely chopped capsicum, finely chopped red bell peppers, crumbled paneer or cottage cheese, Deseeded finely chopped tomatoes, chopped coriander leaves, salt and pepper, oregano. Let's grate some mozzarella cheese. Give it a good mix. So a vegetable mixture is ready. All our components are ready. Now it's time to assemble them together. Let's spread the prepared butter spread on the circles. Now onto the circles, we are going to place the rings. 
Press it lightly so that it sticks. The cheese we used in the butter spread helps to stick its ring to the circle. Let's put one spoon of the vegetable mixture and press it lightly. Let's fill the rest of the rings. So all our rings are stuffed. Now let's apply a little butter on the rings. This will give a nice golden color to the bread. I have applied butter on all the rings. I have taken a baking tray and lined it with aluminium foil. Let's place our rings on the tray. The cheesy discs are ready to go into the oven. We will bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes or until the cheese melts and the discs turn crispy. Please find the exact measurement and the direction to me in the description box below. So our discs are out of the oven. Let's plate it. So our cheesy discs are ready to be eaten. You will experience a burst of flavors when you bite into it. Do give this recipe a try and share your experience in the comment section. Let's start by slicing the onions. I would recommend taking big onions. Let's peel the onion. Let's remove the first layer. I'll chop the onions into half inch slices. Let's separate it into rings. I'll be making two kinds of onion rings today. First one is the old traditional method. And second one is my version, cheesy onion rings. Let's slice some cheese slices into thin strips. So in this way, we will make thin strips of cheese slices. Now we need to take two rings, a bigger one and a smaller one. And in the middle, we are going to fill the cheese slice. You can adjust this length of the cheese slice as per your rings. So in this way, we are going to prepare the other rings. So we have stuffed the cheese in these rings. Now we will refrigerate these rings for around 20 minutes. Meanwhile, let's prepare the flour batter. For this, I have taken all of the flour. Let's add seasoning to it. First, goes in salt, crushed black pepper, chili flakes, a pinch of baking powder, Italian seasoning, and chopped parsley. Let's add water to it and make it into a smooth batter. The batter should be of dropping consistency. Let's take some dry flour and bread crumbs. Now this has got three steps. First step is we will coat the onion rings with the dry flour. Next we will dip it into the batter and coat it completely. Third step is we will coat it with the breadcrumbs. In this way, we will prepare the other onion rings as well. I have prepared the traditional onion rings. I have taken out the cheese onion rings from the refrigerator. Coat it similarly.
So similarly, we will prepare the other rings. The onion rings are ready to be fried. I have heated vegetable oil in the pan. Let's fry it on medium to high heat. Let's put the onion rings into the pan. We will fry it until both the sides are nice and golden brown. So you can see it has got a beautiful golden brown color. Let's drain and take it out in a paper towel. Please find the exact measurement and the direction to me in the description box below. So the onion rings are fried and ready to be served. Let's plate it. I'll garnish it with some chopped parsley. If you try any recipes, I would love to see your creation. Do post your pics on Facebook or Instagram. Hit the like button if you enjoy watching this video. Subscribe to Luxury Foods. See you next time. Bye.